The purpose of this video is to show you how to complete your diet analysis part A project. So for this project, you want to log into the Cengage MindTap. This is your dashboard, and you'll have to find on the right-hand bar the Diet and Wellness Plus app, which has the apple with the plus sign in the middle. Now this takes a minute to load up, but the purpose of this project is to record three days of eating to the best of your ability. So you want to track everything you eat and drink, as well as your physical activity, to just get an idea of what your lifestyle is. And then we're going to compare it to the recommendations that are out there. Now I will attach on NYU classes more details about uh, techniques and strategies for recording your intake. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, I think it's important just for you to understand that's what you need to do. So for whatever reason, this always takes a second to load up. But once you get in, you proceed. And the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to edit your current profile or create a new profile. So I already have one. And this profile, you want to do your name, your date of birth, your height and weight. And then you'll want to answer this uh, questionnaire about your lifestyle and activity. So once that is done and you've created your profile, you are ready to start logging your food. So you can do this in real time every time you eat, put something in, or you can just uh, do everything on paper or somewhere in your phone and then come to this uh, software and plug it in at the end of the day. But you're going to be doing three days. So let's pretend today is the first day that I've done it. Two, four, and I've already started plugging some things in. So let's pretend that I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for breakfast. You don't want to type in peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's not going to give the most accurate results. So anytime you eat a meal like that, you always want to try to break it down by the individual ingredients. So you can see I typed in peanut butter, I typed in bread, I typed in jelly, and then I specified the measurement. So we can go ahead and add one more uh, ingredient to that sandwich. Let's just say I had a banana with it. So you type banana in the search bar. You're going to pick the one that comes most closely to the thing that you ate. Here we just have a standard banana. I ate one banana. It was a medium size, about seven inches, and I had it for breakfast. Now you can drop this down and you can change the meal. You can change the serving size or you can change the amount consumed but for this one it's correct. So I'm gonna add the item and you can see it shows up right here under breakfast. Now, let's pretend I had chicken and I had broccoli for lunch. I'll just show you I had chicken and broccoli for lunch. I'll go in, I'll pick broccoli. This time it's not for breakfast, it's for lunch. I had one cup, I'm gonna add and we'll see that it populates down here. So you want to do everything you eat, drink. You also want to track your physical activity. I, there's a spot for that if you want to. It's not a requirement because uh, we're going to be looking at nutrients. And then uh, that will be it for the day. So then you'll come back and say you did it the next day. You want to start over and populate uh, all your information there. Once you have all three days filled out, you're almost done. You go to the reports tab. And you have plenty of options here for reports, but we only want one of them. We want the three day average report. So you're going to click into that. And for the three day average report, the most important thing here at the top is that you click the, the correct days. So I did two, four, two, five. I don't know why I said it was coming up. And let's say I did two, eight, two, five, just to get a weekend day. So this will populate with all of your information and get your averages and everything. And then uh, what you want to do, it says save as PDF here, but I think the best way to do it is to print, uh, press this print tab here and then save as PDF. Before you save it and get ready to upload it to NYU classes, you can just go down to the very bottom and make sure that the dates and calories have populated in correctly. Uh, in there correctly. So if it looks like this where you have 855 and then 00, zero or all three numbers are the same then there's probably an issue. You want to make sure the dates and the number of calories consumed are different to ensure 
that you've uh, put in the correct days. So once you've made sure it's correct, you can go ahead and click save. This will save into your computer. And now you have the document and you can upload it to NYU classes where I'm gonna make a spot for you guys to upload it. Once you've uploaded it, you're done with diet analysis part A and that's it. So good luck. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me.